it's so windy here and my hat flew off into the sea, thought I'd never see it again. Then the guy in the ferry, he turned round, came back, got his wee hook out and fished it out for me. Good morning folks, the wind has died down just enough to actually do an intro today. So we're here on the Isle of Seal. We're about 10 miles south of Oban. I didn't even know about this place, I've never been here before so this is certainly a first. I arrived last night obviously but the wind was howling and it was really difficult to do any kind of video in at all. So I'll do a wee introduction this morning. But today we're going over to Easdale. Now that's the smallest inhabited Inner Hebridean island. And it used to be home to slate quarrying. I mean, it was really important in slate quarrying. The slate from here would go for the roofs of Canada, Australia, and all over Europe. But then in around 1850, 1851, there was a massive storm here. And the sea came over the quarries and absolutely filled them. And that was the end of the slate industry. Now, some of these quarries run to about 90 meters deep. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I might be able to do some swimming in one of them today. But well, it's meant to be summer, but it doesn't feel like summer, so don't hold me to that one, okay? But to get to Easdale, there is a little ferry, but it's got a really unique system, like the whole island is unique. But the system for the ferry is you get down to the harbour wall, you press two buttons together, a light comes on, and the ferry guys will come and pick you up. So let's go and call that ferry. So it says here, you check the timetable, then press both buttons. Let's do it. So here's the timetable, still on a winter schedule, COVID thing. Um, so 11.15 is the next one, it's 10 past 11. So we'll go over here and this is difficult with a camera. We'll press both buttons. That sounds. And then we come round the back of the building and there we go, the lights on. So the ferry will come and pick us up. I'm so glad there's a bit of blue in the sky now. I think we're going swimming. Here's the ferry, better get a move on. Hi mate. Aye, aye. Thank you. There's nobody in seal, it's still got gallery, is there? Oh, aye, aye, there's, there's quite a few people have it. Thank you very much. Okay. Cheers, see you later. So there we go, two minutes later, welcome to Easdale. What a cool place. Can't believe the sun's come out for us as well. I would seriously be struggling to think of anywhere that I've seen that's more beautiful than this. Oh no, and that one's got a for sale sign. You can totally see why the World Stone Skimming Championships are held here every year. We'll be doing some of that later.
I read somewhere that a lot of the slate contains fool's gold. I wonder if it'd fool Alicia for her birthday. Here we are at the first quarry I've found and it really does make you think about that night in 1851 when the storm rolled in and filled the quarry and took away so many people's livelihoods overnight. This is some place. Look at this. These walls of slate are just incredible. It'd be so easy to give an island a nickname like Slate Island, but here, wow, how true is it? It's everywhere. I want it. It's in really good condition. I'm not sure if it will come through in the camera, but look at that water. Guess I could jump from there. No chance. There's nothing going to stop me from swimming later. I promise. Will it happen? Stay tuned to find out. Hello. Some of these slates look good enough to go on a roof right now. I'll just need to come here and build my dream house. As I walk around the far side of the island, I can see the remains of an old community. All just in ruins now. It wasn't so long ago that the population here dwindled to about six people. But it's a lot healthier now, it's up to about 60. But nothing compared to the hundreds of people who would have lived and worked here back in the 1800s. So I'm just coming back into civilization, 45 minutes around the island. It is that small. When you see it on a day like today, you think, oh, this would just be a paradise. I would love to live here. But then, of course, they'll get their fair share of stormy nights. Although I'd quite fancy a wee stormy night in Easdale. But maybe just the one. I'm still trying to decide on the best pool for swimming. It would help me if there were other people in here swimming as well, and then I'd know it's fine. But the sun seems to be heating this water up quite nicely. Hmm. I must admit that looks pretty inviting. The only thing is I'm terrified of deep water. And that looks like deep water. A 
against all instinct and better judgment. I was a bit nervous about coming in here, but now I could sit here all day. I've just got to try and forget there's 90 meters under me. That terrifies me, seriously. Best swimming pool in Scotland. What I'll probably do is just sit here in the sun for a wee while, dry off a bit and then I'll head back over to the mainland. Okay, there we go. Nice one, thank you very much guys. Okay. Have a good day. There we go. I'm not going to give you a review of Easdale. I've just got one instruction. Go to Easdale. No, in fact, two instructions. One, go to Easdale. Two, take your swimming costume. You'll thank me for that later. So goodbye from Eastdale, all the best and thanks for watching.